That's an Airbus. This is this an, is an Airbus. Airbus. Is that an Airbus? Yes, it's an Airbus. This, this is, is an Airbus. Airbus. Another this Airbus. This is an Airbus. Yeah. Look at all the Airbuses here. So oh many, my God. so many cool Airbuses. Hello, Pilot Talkers. I'm Pilot Mike, and welcome to the Pilot Talk Show, the vlog where we feature everything and anything related to aviation. So, for this episode, we will be doing a three aircraft tour, all of which I will be seeing for the very first time. First, the AT50, eight si Captain. Kulit ni Captain. A350, A220, saka so far, I think ito yung favorite ko, the Airbus A400. Lahat yan titingnan natin for the very first time. Before anything else, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Let's go see our first aircraft. Woo! We're gonna try and see kung papapasukin tayo sa Singapore Airbus 350. It's time to see the very first aircraft for our tour. Shout out to Plane Sported for these amazing pictures and don't forget to follow them. The Airbus A350XWB is a twin-engine wide-body aircraft. XWB stands for Extra Wide Body and it is one of the most advanced wide-body airliners ever made. The A350 is powered by two Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engines with up to 97,000 pound force of thrust, making it the most powerful in the Trent family. Not only are they powerful, they are also fuel efficient and has the lowest noise footprint in its category. With a 64.8 meter wingspan and a cruising speed of Mach decimal 85, it can fly up to 19 hours and has a range of 18,000 kilometers. First time ever to see the inside of an A350. The business class has 67 flatbed seats in a 1 2 1 configuration. The absence of the middle overhead bins makes this cabin feel even more spacious. The seats are modern and feature gray leather upholstery with beautiful copper gold details, which changes colors depending on how the light hits it, giving this cabin a luxurious feel. Esky also provides a choice between firm and soft pillows as well as a care kit so that passengers really have the best experience. Each seat is also equipped with its own in-flight entertainment system so that you can watch your favorite movies and TV shows when you fly. It's actually a two configuration kind of aircraft where they have premium economy and their business class. But Singapore Airlines also has another configuration na meron ding first class. Once you get to the premium economy, you will see 94 recliner seats in a 242 configuration. The premium economy seats have an Oslo gray color with a blue hue and a cross stitch pattern, showing that Singapore Airlines really paid attention to the details. Premium economy passengers also get a care kit and have their own in flight entertainment system. Yes, yeah, right. Yeah. right. You are from. Na amaze ako, sir Mike, as in. Na? Lahat. Amazing, lahat. Naiyak ako mga one, isang luha. Ang kabi na namin ko, Lord. Ang ganda na, kaloka. Magkano kaya yung ticket doon? Now let's look at a different type of luxury, Korean Air's Airbus A220. And honey, look at the material. The Airbus A220 was originally designed by Bombardier and was named the CS100. After a joint venture with Airbus, the CS100 was then rebranded as the A220. This narrow-body aircraft was designed from the ground up to feel like a wide-body aircraft. It is powered by the Pratt and Whitney 1500G geared turbofan. Fun fact, it has a high bypass ratio of 12 is to 1, among the highest of any turbofan in the world. This means that for every 1 kilogram of air that goes into the engine core for combustion, 12 kilograms of air simply bypasses the engine core. That's right, only a small part of air goes into the engine core. This allows the engine to burn 25% less fuel and reduces the noise by 50% compared to the previous generation aircraft. 
Paul T. Applause for the engineering that went into these engines. Hi guys, we have Syndrome from Airbus here giving hey us a quick tour of the A220-300. So apparently this aircraft is very new. Only came out back in 2016, 2016 right? was entry into service. That was with the uh, Dash 100 with Swiss Airways. This aircraft was really designed with the passenger comfort in mind. Yes. Uh, Korean Air's A220 has 140 seats in a 3-2 configuration. You really have to take a seat to feel how comfortable these seats are. Quite exceptional for such a small aircraft. You will love the 48 centimeter wide seats that recline up to 118 degrees. Yeah. Um, and so this aircraft is really for the small single aisle market, the 1 to 150 seats. Mm. Um, the seats that you're sitting on, they're 18 and a half inches wide. Um, and the middle seat over there, um, that's 19 inches wide. Ah, so it's even wider. The windows that we have right over here, they're actually the widest and biggest uh, windows uh, of any single aisle. They're actually, it really brings in the uh, natural sunlight into the cabin and it makes a small aircraft look much bigger than it actually ah. is. Shall we check out the, oh, the toilet? I need to show you the toilet. And they told me that I have to see their toilets here. This is the 8 to 20 toilet. You guys ready? Ready. 3, 2, 1. Boom. Oh, yeah. you get your own window. So we call it the lamp with a view. Yeah. <laughs> you have a view while taking a loo. <laughs> Are you a rapper? <laughs> By any chance? They say it's the what? The, the puppet is the baby 350. Wow. Uh, and you'll get the chance later with Captain to, uh, sorry, uh, to, to have a look. Oh my god, I can see it from here. <laughs> what a nice cockpit, guys. I'm gonna see the cockpit for the very first time. Oh my god. The A220 has a full glass cockpit designed to be simple and smart, reducing pilot workload and encouraging heads up flying. Korean Air flies this aircraft to Fukuoka. Hong Kong and Okayama, as well as other short-haul destinations. Korean Air was also awarded the best A220 operator of 2021. The cockpit and look at their screens guys. Oh my god. One of the favorite features of our pilots here they say is a heads up radio management panels. Such a modern cockpit for a very small plane. It's amazing. We were able to meet German Air Force pilots on one of our previous episodes. Don't forget to check that out on the link above. Guys, look who I met here. People from the German Air Force. Uh, they are the cooler version of me. I'm sorry. They fly the cooler plane over there. So, friend, ang guapo nila. Pero mas guapo yung plane nila. Tara, let's check out their plane. This is the Airbus A400M Atlas. It is a four-engine turboprop military transport aircraft. It uses 21st century state-of-the-art technologies, making it the most advanced, proven, and certified airlifter available. It has three main missions. First, as a tactical airlift, carrying personnel and goods directly into the theaters of operation. Strategic airlift missions to transport big equipment and vehicles. And third, air-to-air -air refueling missions. If you've ever watched action films, this is one of the airplanes you will see. This aircraft is powered by four Rolls-Royce Trent TP400-D6s, which is a three-shaft counter-rotating turboprop engine delivering more than 11,600 shaft horsepower. This engine is designed to operate in the harshest of environments. This aircraft has a maximum range of 4,800 nautical miles, cruising at a speed of Mach decimal 72. The cargo hold has a volume of 349 square meters that can accommodate cargo, troops, and medical equipment. Let's look at them one by one. Are you ready? 
The A400 has a maximum payload of up to 37 tons. It can carry big cargo including military vehicles, tanks, and even helicopters such as the Chinook. This feels like inception of aircraft. The A400 also excels in airdropping troops and cargo. It can accommodate up to 116 fully equipped paratroopers. Two streams of paratroopers can jump simultaneously from the ramp or the two side doors to further cut jumping time and scatter. This aircraft can drop up to 25 tons of containers or pallets through gravity and parachute extension. It has an automated release system automatically identifying the release point for optimum delivery accuracy including corrections for wind effects. It can also be reconfigured to have full aeromedical capability and mobile intensive care modules in the aircraft to the same level of intensive care units found inside hospitals. This aircraft can also perform AAR or air-to-air -air refueling with a basic fuel capacity of 63,500 liters which can be increased with additional cargo hold tanks, the A400 is the most capable tactical tanker on the market. Air-to-air -air refueling can be done either through two wing-mounted hose and droke, under-wing refueling pods, or through a center line. They're almost close. At least I got one quick chance to look at the aircraft. Yeah, basically what you can see here is a standard setting. We have some seats, uh -huh. um, a flat area now. It can also be turned for rolls. I mean, in general, it's a cargo airplane. It yeah. can also be a tanker, a receiver. Um, it can drop parachutes, can drop cargo. As you can see in some videos. Uh, seat, no, no, no. <laughs> We're getting special access of the cockpit, guys. The Airbus A400M features a fly-by-wire flight control system with side stick controllers and flight envelope protection. Like other Airbuses, the A400 has a full glass cockpit. Most of the systems are loosely based on those of the A380 but modified for military mission. What is your most favorite thing of the cockpit? Sir. Like the favorite feature of this aircraft. We can eat. We have no <laughs> table. That is my favorite feature as well. <laughs> We are the ones who flew the airplanes coming into the Singapore Air Show. Thank you for having and me. And what you say? You can fly this one? No? Can I try? <laughs> <laughs> is there like a special function for this aircraft that you could say is like very modern, like the most modern function for this aircraft? Head up display. Heads up display. It's, it's available. Do you do a lot of low visibility or like this is a head up display, right? Yeah, so actually, it's standard for my system. Not sure? even low visibility. We just use it all the time. And does so, this aircraft have like a like a really heavy maximum take of weight? Yeah, like 141 tons. 141 tons. Wow. You, do you carry all like passengers or do you carry like tanks and everything? everything. Sometimes even combined with soldiers, we can even combine cargo passengers, which is unusual to civil planes. Wow, wow. What's the craziest thing that you've had in the back? Uh, a helicopter? A G? helicopter? Yeah. More tank. Helicopter, small tank. Well, let's hope well. nobody turns. And squ and quads. Yeah. Quad boys. <laughs> let's hope nobody turns on the helicopter, let's say. In, uh, I think, I think nope. they had to, they had to um, remove the rotor. Um, I have one more question. 
Do you think they'll let me fly it in this plane with this kind of hair? Probably, well, shave, probably it. shave it. Shave it, right? <laughs> We're we need to look. I need that hair before I can fly this plane. Thank you, guys. Such a You're cool welcome. cockpit. You're welcome. Thank Enjoy. you. Mga pilot talkers, thank you, thank you for watching all the way to the end. Grabe, pinawisan talaga ako dun sa A400. Kayo ba, what is your favorite air cap sa ating mga tinur ngayon? Leave it in the comment section below. Again, thank you for watching all the way to the end. I'm Pilot Mike. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And thank you for watching the Pilot Talk Show. Bye-bye!